Hello, my name is Caitlin Papp, and I recently graduated from the University of Texas and turned professional in June. And I would like to show you guys some of my recent stats in the Bryson app. Um, recently, I won my first uh, tournament as a professional, which is the Babe Saharius Open in Beaumont, Texas. Um, this win was um, great for my confidence and it shows my game is heading in the right direction um, as I want to uh, play on the LPG Tour next year and earn it through Key School in the fall. So I hope you all um, enjoy looking at my stats for my most recent win. Um, let's see, we click here. Um, we're selecting all four rounds. Um, there was a cut after, th after three rounds. So I was definitely happy to make the cut. And as you can see here, um, those are all my scores and stats from uh, all my tournaments I've played so far this spring as an amateur and as a professional. Um, I'm really happy with my greens and regulation. They have improved a lot since last year. And um, this is one area of my game I really want to improve. So this is a nice improvement. Um, as you can see, I did not hit very many bunkers. <laughs> I only hit one bunker in this tournament round um, in particular. Um, let's see, and then my average putts per round, it's about 30. I feel like that's pretty consistent for me, whether I'm hitting a ton of greens and making putts or if I'm missing greens and making a lot of putts. So I feel like that's pretty typical for me. Um, average score to par, I'm happy with this. Uh, I think it's great to strive for an under par round every time with the conditions um, that are in your favor. Par fives have been great for me recently and my par fours especially have improved greatly this year. Um, especially since college, um, I've made more birdies on par fours lately. And I've been trying to kind of minimize bogeys and keep pars and birdies on the cards. So this is a great um, stat for me to see as well because you want to hate bogey more than you love birdie. Um, fairway accuracy. Uh, I've struggled off the tee a little bit this year, but I feel like the last tournament I uh, did a lot better with fairway accuracy, um, but there's always room for improvement, <laughs> as always. Um, let's see. Uh, it shows my three wood. I'm pretty consistent uh, with fairways hit, and driver, as I've said before, has been just kind of okay this year. Um, but one area I'm looking to improve, um, I've gotten longer and stronger off the tee. So uh, I just want to bring more consistency back into play. Uh, shots into the green, as you can see, um, I've hit a lot of greens, but the tendency is to miss a little bit short, which I think is better than long anyways. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, greens and reg per round 15. This is great because I remember a lot of times throughout college I would be around 13. So I think it's great for me to hit two more greens per round. And, uh, you know, it's two more opportunities every round for birdie. So I'm really happy to see that improvement. Um, you can see my fairway woods, my irons. I think breaking down my irons and how many greens I hit with each iron is important because... Um, especially the short irons. The closer you are uh, to the hole, the better, obviously. I try to score the most within eight iron and shorter. So um, definitely can improve, but I'm happy um, with where my greens and reg are at right now. Um, proximity the hole has gotten a lot better. Um, I remember as a freshman in college, this was one of my goals to improve um, proximity to the hole because ultimately you hit more greens, which means you have more chances for birdie and just more stress-free pars, which is always the goal. Um, and as you can see here, uh, you can break it down by club and how close or how far away you hit it from the hole. I think this is a great tool um, to view after your tournaments because um, it shows which clubs you tend to hit closer with. Um, like for example here, obviously wedges you hit closer to the hold than say like a five iron. We're, well here it looks like I hit six iron either close or kind of far, but, <laughs> but overall wedges should be closer and ultimately you want your other clubs, like the longer clubs to, you know, have good proximity to the hole as well. 
uh, scrambling. Um, as you can see here, I was more successful than unsuccessful, which I think is great because no round of golf is perfect. So you want to be creative and try to get up and down. Same thing with up and downs. I've been trying to work on my short game. Um, so I'm trying to compete in the LPG tour next year. So I think short game is a big game changer out there in, in all levels of professional and, and amateur golf as well. Uh, bunker play, I've not hit very many bunkers, but uh, this is one area I'll improve in my practice. Average putting, um, as you can see, it's kind of decreased lately or all throughout all the rounds. The third round, obviously, I made a lot more putts, as you can see. Um, I shot 65 that round, so that kind of makes sense. That goes hand in hand. And um, number of putts, I think this is great. Always try to avoid three putts, um, especially from uh, 30 to 60 feet lag putting is crucial. And I've really tried to improve my stats from six to 10 feet. And that's that. Right now it was at 52% for that tournament, which is really great to see, um, especially compared to um, the best putters on the PGA Tour. Uh, three putts I've really tried to get better at. And as you can see, I only had one the whole tournament, which I'm really happy about because I've been working a lot on my putting. And that's, and that looks like it's about all my stats for this tournament. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at um, my fairways, my greens, my putting, my short game, my scrambling statistics. And I think you all can learn a lot from it. Thank you.